Well, my dad started the farm in 44, when you know, I was born. When I was young, we did everything. But it just progressed over time as things went on like everything does. He built it up into 300 acres. When my boys graduated from college, why well, then they started the shelling operation at that time. At Anderson & Sons, our ranch works hard to maintain each field throughout the year. We take this time to evaluate every tree and assess its needs. In the spring, the trees are pruned to promote optimal growth, which will result in a better quality tree that will be given the best chance to produce a high walnut yield for many years. After the walnut holes have cracked, they are ready to harvest. The shakers gently shake each tree. someone is shaking by the clouds of dust rising from the trees. From there, sweepers come in, pick up the walnuts, and move them into windrows. Lastly, the harvesters move in, driving over the windrows, scooping up the walnuts, and unloading them into a bank out. unloaded onto a conveyor belt that transfers them from a bank out to a trailer. This trailer will then take the walnuts to a hauler to be cleaned and then dried. The trailers drive over the hauler pit to be unloaded. Up they go onto another conveyor belt while production workers pick out foreign material. As the holes separate from the walnut in the hauler drum, they are cleaned and moved to one more sorting table so defective walnuts can be pulled. The wet, clean nuts are moved into metal dryer bins and each load is kept together. When the walnuts are dried to an 8% moisture level, they are removed from the metal bins onto a conveyor belt and loaded into one more trailer. The dried walnuts are unloaded into another pit to be put in bins and stored until they are ready to be processed. The bin is tagged with a lot number, variety, and grower code. Each bin can be easily traced throughout the warehouses by pulling up the lot number recorded in our database. Samples of each lot of dried walnuts received are graded by the in-shell graders, 
100 nuts are individually cracked out and the kernels are evaluated for quality and color. A picture is taken of the completed sample and the kernels are retained. From this process, we are able to give that lot an edible yield percentage, the value of that lot. When a customer orders walnut product, they either request in shell or kernels. For kernels, the walnuts are unloaded into the sheller to have the shells taken off. When the shell is removed, the shaker removes any remaining shell and the kernels are stored in bins. The kernels are transferred to the laser sorter. This sorter can size each kernel and puts them into bins accordingly. Each bin is taken to the sorting tables for a final quality check. These highly trained individuals meticulously look for imperfections that may compromise the overall quality of an order. Quality Control inspects each order to be sure that our customers' products meet our company's highest specifications. The kernels are boxed, sealed, stamped with a pack date, and ran through our x-ray system that can detect if any foreign material is in the box. The boxes continue to ride up on the conveyor belt where they will be stacked onto pallets and shrink wrapped. shell nuts are sized and sent down the conveyor to fill up 50-pound sacks. They are stacked on a palletizer and shrink-wrapped. The retail line offers our customers the ability to have their order custom-packed into smaller quantities, like these pouches that are ready to be placed on a store shelf. We ship out walnuts both domestically and across the world. When an order is ready for pickup, our custom boxes are either loaded by pallets or hand stacked into the trailer. The trailer or container is locked and sealed. A final weight out is recorded, proper documentation is handed over to the driver, and the walnuts leave our facility, ready to be placed on shelves in bulk bins for consumers to enjoy. It takes a team of dedicated employees to process over 20,000 acres to create the high quality product that we are known for and that has brought this company success for many years. They made it work. They did it. And that's my biggest joy is them being here and doing what they have done. And I hope that it will continue and I hope the grandkids and as they grow up, uh, grow up and work right into the operation. You know, I can't ask for anything better than that. This is the story of the walnut, the story of Anderson and Sons Shelling.